This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 533. How Rom-Coms Ruin Our Relationships by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca. Happy Wednesday! I'm Joss Murray, and I'm here every Monday through Friday to narrate relationship content to ya. But before we get to today's show, I'd just like to thank Noemi. Noemi lets you shop for fine jewelry without retail prices. Their jewelry is handcrafted with conflict-free stones, you get personalized attention, and they have a 60-day return policy. Are you curious about how much you'll actually save through Noemi? I'll share that and more details after today's reading. Visit hellonoemi.com and use the promo code ORD75 for $75 off your order. Also, you can click the drop a hint button on the product page to let someone know you'd like to receive it as a gift. But with that, let's get right into Shauna's post on the messages behind rom-coms and start optimizing your life. How Rom-Coms Ruin Our Relationships by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca Yes, it's true. Those adorable Drew Barrymore movies where she finds someone as quirky and cute as her are ruining our relationships. How? Setting us up with unrealistic expectations. Let me set the scene. Ridiculously adorable, witty, yoga-loving, cheeseburger-eating, 30-something woman is single and working away at her quirky job in the city. Through pure serendipity, she keeps running into an equally handsome, successful, romantic, philanthropic, guitar-playing 30-something man. He can't resist her charm, and it hits him. He has always been focused on his career and charity work. And looking at her, the world stops, and he wants to know everything about her, make her smile, show her the world. They have some awkward but heartwarming dates. As they fall deeper into passionate love, he realizes there is some seemingly mundane secret he can never tell her, because it would be a deal-breaker for her. Like, that he hooked up with her BFF years back, but he can't tell her now. Still, through some weird circumstances, she finds out and kicks him to the curb. His heart is broken. He's miserable, pining. He can't live without her. She's getting her drank on and skank on, trying to forget his true love, and bam, realizes she's looking for love in all the wrong places. Cut the story short, he spends a lot of time and effort to get her back. There is a dynamic, tearful proposal that goes viral on YouTube. Wedding, marriage, years of bliss, great and cute outfits for all. I'm sure every husband in Canada wishes they could screen these romantic comedies and have free range to edit them to be more like real life. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for raising the bar and what we expect from our men, but that's a whole other blog post. But these scripted love capades are just not going to fly in 95-99% to of our relationships, especially after, say, 8 years with your boo. Here's my take on where Hollywood is pooping rainbow skittles when it comes to love and marriage. Example number one, rom-coms. Our spouse can read our minds and meet our expectations in all situations. Real life. He leaves his socks all over the house. I just leave them there and get madder and madder. And one day snap that he's such a slob and so rude to think I'm going to clean up after him. Okay, this did happen once. Now I know he knows I won't be picking them up. And he will eventually make sure they get to the laundry basket. Lesson learned. Nobody reads minds. We have to voice our expectations. This takes assertiveness intact to do well, but I feel it means success or failure in all relationships. Example number two, rom-coms. My husband expresses his love with creative and grand gestures in just the manner I need to feel loved. Real life. I lost my ish when I got a sentimental note for Mother's Day rather than some elaborate gesture. After calming down, seeking some sage advice, and acknowledging the role pregnancy hormones might be playing, the truth is, he took the time to voice and write out his feelings to tell me how great I am. I am always asking him to leave me notes like he used to, and he knows I love it when he opens up to me with words of love. He probably thought he had it in the bag. Lesson learned. All people, especially men and mothers-in-law, express love differently. Usually, it's not in the way and time we want. We have to observe them to learn how they do it. Cue the five languages of love. Example number three, rom-coms. My husband is a great listener. We talk about everything from pillow shams to world hunger. He truly wants to hear my every thought and I his. Sometimes we fall asleep in each other's arms just talking. Puke. Real life. 
I can see my husband nodding, but I know he's officially listening to the radio when I get to minute 11 of explaining how I need a teal-colored wedge shoe, or how the lady at the checkout line was being all judgy. Maybe it goes both ways when my mind wanders to did I pay the internet bill? Where online can I find those teal wedges? As my husband tells me yet another fishing story with full detail on rigging, jigging, and lures. Lesson learned. Give him the Coles Notes version and save the rest for lunch with the ladies. Science has proven our husbands aren't biologically wired to listen and support like our GFs. Cue the proper care and feeding of husbands. Yeah, it sounds old school, but it's a big reason why my marriage didn't flop in the first year. And men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Example number four, rom-coms. My husband meets all of my needs for encouragement, security, support, finances, fun, romance, conversation, dot, dot, dot. Real life. So, I was totally tired this weekend. My husband was out mowing the lawn and cleaning the yard, and I was in the kitchen all like, excuse me? I'm slaving away making lunch, and all I want to do is nap, and you haven't even come in to ask me how I'm feeling and offered to take the baby so I could go for a snooze. So, in walks husband for lunch, and I serve his with a cold shoulder because he isn't helping me. Hello, crazy pregnant lady. After lunch, I mumbled, I'm pooped, and husband said, okay, then go have a nap. Mm. So it's that easy. I can just say I need a nap and you'll be all like, have one, honey. Yep, because I'm being a big old bag of crazy expecting someone else to meet my needs instead of voicing them and ensuring they are met. Did I mention I'm seven months pregnant and sleep deprived? I promise I'm usually somewhat rational and reasonable, but I'm pretty sure my baby stole my crazy filter. Lesson learned. This is unfair pressure on any other person kid, parent, spouse, friend. After all, we are all only human and it would be impossible to anticipate and supply the needs of someone else, let alone your own. It's up to you to take stock of what you feel, what your needs are, assessing if they are reasonable, and empowering yourself to ensure they are met. Also, how many of us know what our spouse needs? I think I know what my husband needs, food, intimacy, and respect. I'm sure there's more and goodness knows my list is much, much longer. But that's up to me to take care of through my own hobbies, friendships, activities, exercise, health, and so on. And don't even get me started on how these movies put pressure on women to always be cute, funny, smart, and oh yeah, look freaking adorable even first thing in the morn. When the truth is, your breath probably smells like hot dog water, you have roofing tar lining your eyes, and your hair looks like you got into a fight with a feral dog. Don't even get me started. This was written while I was preggers. Obviously. You just listened to the post titled How Rom-Coms Ruin Our Relationships by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca And once again, I'd just like to thank our friends at Noemi. If Amazon Prime and Tiffany's had a baby, it would be Noemi. Pick designer rings in the finest quality in all sizes and have them shipped overnight without the 5 to 10 times retail markups. It's the easiest experience the fine jewelry industry has ever seen. For one, I loved the packing. I know it seems so simple, but it honestly makes such a difference with first impressions. Not to mention the 60-day return policy removed all the pressure that comes along with making any big purchases. It gave me enough time to spend with the pieces so I could try them on with different outfits and really determine whether or not I love them, which I did. Visit hellonoemi.com and use the promo code ORD75 for $75 off your order. Also, you can click the drop a hint button on the product page if you'd like an item as a gift from someone. But with that, I hope you enjoyed Shauna's post as much as I did. And be sure to tune in again tomorrow on getting past the guilt of me time when you're a mom, where your optimal life awaits.